skateboarding has definitely influenced my style. Fashion and skateboarding, it like just goes hand in hand. You gotta have your style. Because like skateboarding, surfing, snowboarding, whatever you're doing, I mean you're putting some style in it, you're putting your own personal style. Putting in the visual aspect of it when you match your style with your with your skating ability. It's like your own personal thing, you know? Like there's the kids that, that go around looking bummy, you know, but they got that like kind of slappy style. They like roll around, you know, with a little bit more steez. Nigel Houston right now, he's like a huge pop icon. He's just massive, you know? People are just copping his style. And he's got his own thing going. And it's, it's like a movement, dude, it's crazy. I mean, everybody kind of cops off that bad boy look, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a statement. People are like, oh man, you must be edgy, you know? You see the uh, skate brands. I mean, they don't really know what it correlates with, but I mean, we do obviously since we grew up skating. Supreme started out as like a, a skate brand, skate shop, you know, had a, like a ragtag group of, of kids on a skate team and, you know, it was like, uh, like any other skate team, Baker, Birdhouse, anything like that, but they just blew up. I mean, now it's a streetwear a staple. People cop the style. I see, I see kids nowadays rocking the shoelace belts, and you know that stuff just comes standard on on pants now. I mean, everybody cops off the style, you know. Putting that in the idea, you know, of, of a building. You're like, all right, so we build this. Obviously, kids are probably going to want to skate it. You know, we should go ahead and put skate stoppers on something. It's like, like, when does that ever be a thing? You know what I mean? Like with architecture in itself, I, I imagine if somebody put the time into draft up a drawing for a building, you know, and they were going to see their finished product, I wouldn't want to see it with skate stoppers on it I'm like what what is this you know i mean i understand where they're coming from but at the same time you know as as a skater myself or somebody who you know enjoys a good skate spot and waxing up a ledge and being able to, to skate it you know i look at it from both ways it's like that's fun but yeah if i had a building i'd probably protect it too i mean whatever yeah i don't think uh you know a ledge with skate stoppers on it is very appealing at all I mean, there's always going to be those those kids that rip them off, you know what I mean? Like, you pull a, pro, a crowbar out and you just rip them off. And I mean, that almost causes more damage, but people are still going to do it. It's like a, an eyesore. I mean, you look at it and you're just like, ugh, to each his own, you know? But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm the type where I like to see the wear and things. Like, you know, the building's been there for a while. Like, the... the the railings worn down, you can see the paint, you know, chipping off or the metal poking through or, you know, you go to a bar and you see where people's elbows have been, you know what I mean? Like that's, right. it's a pretty nostalgic thing. It's like, okay, this has been here for a while. It's just had some, uh, had some love on it, you know what I mean? Like it had just been worked in, you know, rustic, it's old school. Can't have everything new like that. It's gotta have some wear, wear and tear, baby.